Hi, I'm Francis from AAP. Um, Mr. Gary, would you describe this building as your best one yet? Do you agree with the paper, ba the paper bag tag? That's, uh, you know, I have some children, and I've never tried to differentiate. So. <laughs> do, you, do you agree with the um, the paper brown, or the brown paper bag tag that some people have labelled it as? I can't. I didn't hear that. Oh, um, some people have called it uh, the paper bag building. Do you agree with that description? I've been called a lot of things. That, that works. That's okay. Whatever you, works is fine. What would you call it then? How would you describe it? Well, most of the buildings get built are just boxes, right? And um, so the idea that you can humanize a building, you know, the 19th, the 19th century buildings in Sydney are still the, the most accessible, their humanity about them. And the modern buildings tend to be cold and, and off-putting. Uh, so the idea of uh, using brick was uh, uh, part of the community here. There is a, a, brick, a brick culture. And uh, the sense of movement, creating a sense of movement to replace decoration um, is, is a primitive one, actually. It comes from the fold, uh, which goes back to studies by Michelangelo and many artists uh, over time, over the years. And uh, we were able to accomplish it with normal brick, brick laying uh, techniques. And the curved parts on the inside relate to the communal activities in the building. So that the, the more simpler box or square elements are where the offices are. And um, so it's a container, maybe it's a brown paper bag, uh, but it, it is flexible on the inside. There's a lot of room for change and movement, which I think in the world today is essential to, uh, there are a few normal things like this auditorium, but <laughs> the, the oval classroom um, is uh, something I've experienced before that the bringing people together in a conference like that there's, uh, eliminates kind of the hierarchy and invites people. And I've seen it work in a, an excellent way. The original oval table idea comes from Thomas Jefferson. If you go to the University of Virginia, you go to his uh, conference room and you'll see an oval table. And some years ago, I experienced that and it was an inspiration for, for pursuing that.